today I am going to test Cam Studio with some different codecs, different quality settings, to see if it can get a little bit closer to the quality that I get when I use Snagit. Now I don't need to, to do this for myself because I've already I've already purchased Snagit. Um, but if I can help others who may want to <coughs> use a program like this but don't want to spend the money or possibly they could be students or whatever and can't really afford to spend money uh, on frivolous things when they can get it for free if we can uh, help those people out that's what, what we're trying to do I noticed when I opened up Windows that the text was just a little bit fuzzy as compared to Snagit. Um, so let's go in oh Michelle's not going to run for president well neither is Oprah who's going to run let's see what we got here uh oh I heard he was not going to give up his title. I didn't know he had committed a crime, McGregor. Oh. He hit somebody. Man, I don't want him to hit me, I can tell you that much. Woo! Knock me out. Man, that was sad. Oh well. God bless them and watch over them. Ooh, turning seniors into young bucks. Well, I could use that. Shoo-wee. Well, anyway. I should have displayed enough to at least check out the quality. No need to make this long. So let's stop this right now. Okay, that first video, I was using the Cinepak video compressor at 80% quality. All other settings were default, except of course, turning on the capture microphone, <clears throat> which by default is turned off. I've now switched to the Microsoft One video codec. I've also got the quality on it set to 80. All other settings default. Let's go ahead and open up a web page. See what the uh, resolution looks like. See what the uh, text looks like. <coughs> Uh, too tall for basketball. Yeah, let's see. There you go. That's my drink. Boy, it looks gross. But I sure could use a boost. <coughs> oh man, that's a bad deal. Thought he could get off as being innocent. I don't even know what the crime is, but when they offer you 25 and you end up with 65, woo! North Korea could be able to nuke the U.S. by summer. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. I don't know. 
first video was almost two and a half minutes. This one's got another 10 seconds to go or so. Let's see. Eh, that's close enough. I'm going to stop this one. Okay, as you can see here, a two and a half minute video, test number one, shot with the Cinepak video compressor in Cam Studio, resulted in a file approximately 42 megabytes. A slightly shorter video, just by a few seconds, shot with the Microsoft One video codec was a little over two times as large and while it <coughs> to me appeared, to my eyes anyway, appeared slightly better than the Cinepak codec, it wasn't twice as good. But if you want to squeeze out a little bit better quality and have plenty of uh, space for the extra size, then the, the Microsoft One might work pretty well. I've currently got it set up and recording with the Logitech, I think it was 1420 codec, or maybe it was a capital I 420. That's what it looked like. It could have been a one or capital I, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's under options, video options, When if you decide to change them. Um, so, we got another minute, a little over a minute of this shoot, just to try to make the file sizes approximately the same. I love them penguins, but <coughs> y'all will have to excuse me. I've been fighting allergies and a cough for two months. Um, go to my old favorite, MSN. Let's see. Anyway. Well, they need some help. Amazon is... For those of y'all who have not shopped at Amazon, which there's probably not many people that haven't, man, they make it so easy. And um, I've ordered something on a Friday night, and it got delivered on a Sunday afternoon. Of course, we pay the fourteen ninety a month for Prime, but that also gets us their video service, the Prime video service. So... It's kind of like, well, you get free shipping, and we've got some videos you can watch. They don't have as many as Netflix, but they do change every now and then. But there are a lot of the same old movies. So I don't watch it as much, but anyway. I'm going to go ahead and close this out, because I have a feeling... Ooh, I've already gone three minutes. I've gone over. So I'm going to stop this. Well, let me tell you what. That Logitech codec had excellent, excellent video quality. Uh, it may have even looked better than my Snagit. However, be aware that a 3 minute and 14 second video was almost 2 gigabytes. So... I'm not sure what would happen if it got to the 4 gigabyte limit. It might create a second file, a third file, whatever, and you could stitch them together for one long video. I'm going to test that later because the quality was really good. Of course, you're not going to you're not going to post to YouTube or Facebook AVI. You're going to convert it to MP4, which is going to shrink the size. <clears throat> what I'm thinking of is just as you're creating the video, since Cam Studio creates AVIs, um, you know, you don't have much of a choice. And that's what you get for free. And I've, in case y'all haven't noticed, I've got watchdogs. Quiet, quiet. But anyway, 
Uh, let's see, I, I've gone a minute and 28 seconds. Right now I'm testing the Intel IYUC, I think it is, codec. Anyway, you find it under options. They give you four different codecs, so this will be the last um, test for what I'm doing right now. Uh, might as well get a web page open so we can see how good <coughs> that looks. It, uh, let me tell you what, that Logitech really looks good. It looks just like the screen that I'm looking at right now. You couldn't even tell it. <coughs> Couldn't even, couldn't even tell it was a recording. Um, let's go to MSN. Flip through. Too tall for basketball. Man, I'd sue. There, there's no way you can be too tall for basketball. Um, and let's just flip through them real quick. I don't care about... I don't give a dang what Hannity or Kim will have to say. i tell you what. I'm so tired of Hollywood and news and fake news and politics I'm just sick of it I try my best not to let it have any effect on my life but it does get my blood pressure up so what can I do uh, yeah. Ooh, I might come back and read that that's National Geographic that should be some good stuff right there. Let's see. I've gone over three minutes, so yeah, I'm going to shut down this video. We'll see how that Intel codec looks. Cut. Okay. I attempted a test with Cam Studio to record a video longer than six minutes to ensure that the file size would be greater than four gigabytes and I left it on the Intel uh, video codec um, and once I finished it was basically an eight minute recording <coughs> And when it tried to compress and save, it could not create the file. So basically, if it goes over 4 gigabytes, I'm pretty sure it's just going to fail. Part of that's because it's using the AVI format, which is, in my opinion, is going to be larger than if it, they were using MP4. So, it, but if you're going to make 5-minute videos and shorter and want the maximum quality, Either of these two, the Logitech or the Intel video codecs, would give you your best quality if you're using Cam Studio. If you're pressed for, for space and or you know you're going to make a long video and you want to get the maximum compression, then the Cinepak default is going to give you your best compression with with good enough video quality but just basically twice the size and slightly better video quality quality is the Microsoft One video codec so the choice is yours uh, I'm recording this right now with Snagit 2018 it is definitely a superior product and if you can afford the fifty dollars plus a little bit extra for tax it's really going to be your best option if you're running Windows they may even have a Mac version I'm not sure <coughs> but um, that's pretty much it for this video and um, I'm going to end this now and uh, the choice is yours <laughs>